Hello, this is Jazz, and stepping outside the box. Here is just five of the greatest gangster slash mafia games I have played. But this is not including modern crime games like Saints Row 2 and the GTA series. But at number five is a game I picked up for nearly half a dollar at my local game store. But the best thing about it was, this wasn't recently. It was year 1999. The game's called Gangsters by Hothouse Creations. It's an ancient strategy game in which you have to kill, extort and run strip clubs in what I presume is Chicago. I'm not saying it's even worthy of number five, but I just had to put it on here. At number 4 is The Godfather 2. This game was pretty much a disappointment for most gamers, but it's The Godfather. The game makes you feel like a boss when extorting businesses, executing awesome finishing moves and defending your business in its strategy element. The game's got flaws, sure, such as an idiotic gangster crew which like to run around in circles just to piss you off. But then again there is a multiplayer, which for some reason I spent 10 hours playing. From Florida, New York and Cuba, the game is addicting. It's Scarface the video game, released in 2006. The game kicks off right from where the film ended. Tony escaped the mansion and you have to rebuild your empire to claim back the money, power and apparently the women. The game's even got this crazy feature, customizing your mansion and then buying vehicles and buying fronts to further benefit your cocaine deals. And when you get enough balls by shooting gangsters and ramming cars, you can enter Tony's first person rage mode to help in battle. For the time, this game was epic, and to this day is still one of my favorite sandbox games, which in my opinion, did Tony Montana and Pacino justice. Adios, amigo. Hey, lady, what's that on your face? Are you talking to me? Yeah, you look like you got some shit on your face. What are you trying to say? You're interested? I'm just trying to help you out here, okay? Your daddy should have taught you a better line. Hey, I ain't trying to pick you up, okay? I'm just trying to tell you you got some shit stuck on your face. I gotta get out of here. And then at number two is The Godfather 1. The game pits you in the world of the Corleone family, in which from the off, your father is murdered upon orders of Don Barzini. The story is extremely cool in how it manages to land you in the story of the first film. For instance, when Vito is shot down in the street and you just happen to be in a barber shop in the background. Most missions involve extortion, but the game provides variety with some pretty hard firefights, bank jobs and again absolutely awesome finishing moves. The Godfather is original and actually one of the best movie game adaptions I've seen, if not the best. Time to get out of the business, my friend. Finally at number one, it's the Mafia games, one and two. But since I never got round to completing the first, we'll concentrate on the second. I want my money! Mafia 2 for me was 2010's game of the year. Why? Because the story to the game was absolutely perfect, in which it didn't make you a Don or even Capo, it made you go through all of the gritty henchman work. And you'll come to learn that Vito, the main character, is expendable. He's just a pawn for his family even after he gets made. Never should I have oh, oh, Jesus! Ah, shit. You gotta be kidding me. What the fuck is wrong with you? The character relations between Vito and best buddy Joe is awesome, with its realistic cinematic style that allows for a 10 out of 10 story. What do you say now? What do I gotta say? That's... Vito! Ow! Hey, mama! Go! It's a cover third person shooter that feels immensely satisfying. It also looks great. The Nvidia physics surrounding firefights has never looked better. The game captures more of a Goodfellas feel and even references certain parts to the movie. 
For me, Mafia 2 could have integrated a few more sandbox features, such as even more stores and even a few more small touches to make exploration more worthwhile. But as a Mafia game, this linear but sandbox world is not just one of the best gangster games you could pick up, but for me one of the best video games of all time. Don't worry, I thought of everything. This has been Jazz for Jazz Reviews. And if you take anything away from this list, make it Mafia 2. Without sounding cheesy, it's an offer you cannot refuse. Thanks for your time and comments. You have been watching Friday's Top 5. Be sure to subscribe and tune in next Friday for the latest upload. But wait, I want you to choose a Top 5 for me. If you've got any cool ideas that I can throw a Top 5 on, go ahead and comment below. And I'll be sure to reference you in the video. But thanks for watching and I'll see you next Friday. Don Clemente sends his regards.